Hi, my name is Chuck at Inline Tube, and today we're going to show you how to use the TLF-12 Hydraulic Flaring Tool Kit. This inline tube professional grade flare kit will form 45 degree double flares, metric bubble flares, GM fuel injection o-ring flares, and GM fuel and transmission push connect flares. This tool uses a hydraulic cylinder to easily form tubing with minimal effort. The TLF-12 Hydraulic Flare Kit contains 15 different die blocks, 17 adapter buttons, one hydraulic cylinder, one die clamp, one die clamp handle, and one die tightening handle. Start by opening your TLF-12 kit and removing the hydraulic cylinder, the die clamp, the die clamp handle, and the die tightening handle. Next, slide the hydraulic cylinder head over the bottom of the die clamp and twist the die clamp clockwise to secure it. Do not completely tighten the die clamp to the hydraulic cylinder. Afterward, connect the die clamp handle to the bottom of the die clamp and flip the tool upright. Following the assembly of the tool, remove the correct size die block and adapter buttons. For this demonstration, we'll be using the quarter inch push connect die block, quarter inch adapter button, and the operation zero adapter button. Begin by placing the Operation Zero adapter button inside of the hydraulic cylinder head, followed by the quarter inch push connect die block inside the die clamp. Next, slide your tubing through the die block. Once the tubing reaches the Operation Zero adapter button, twist the hydraulic cylinder and the button will correctly align the tubing with the die block. Now, insert the die tightening handle through the side of the die clamp and begin to rotate the handle until tight. Once the die block is completely secure, twist the hydraulic cylinder counterclockwise to retract the adapter. Remove the Operation Zero adapter button and replace it with the button you'll be using. For this demonstration, we'll be using the quarter inch adapter button. With the adapter button inside of the die clamp, tighten the hydraulic cylinder. Once the button reaches the die block, twist the valve knob to the closed position and begin to squeeze the handle as shown. Notice how the adapter enters the die block and begins to form the flare. Open the valve, rotate the hydraulic cylinder counterclockwise, and the button will be trapped from the die block. Finally, loosen the die block, remove the line, and your flare is complete. For this next demonstration, we'll be showing you how to flare 5 16 GM O-ring. With the die block and tubing already aligned inside the die clamp, insert the 5 16 adapter button into the hydraulic cylinder head. Twist the hydraulic cylinder handle to align the button with the die block. Next, turn the valve on the hydraulic cylinder to the closed position. Begin to squeeze the handle on the side of the hydraulic cylinder until the adapter button won't go any further inside the die block. Now, turn the hydraulic cylinder valve from the closed position to the open position and rotate the handle counterclockwise to release the adapter button to its starting position. Finally, loosen the die block, remove the line, and your 5 16 GM O-ring flare is complete. For this final demonstration, we'll be showing you the 3 8 GM transmission cooling flare. With the die block and tubing already aligned inside the die clamp, Insert the 3 8 adapter button into the hydraulic cylinder head. Twist the hydraulic cylinder handle to align the button with the die block. Next, turn the valve on the hydraulic cylinder to the closed position. Begin to squeeze the handle on the side of the hydraulic cylinder until the adapter button won't go any further inside the die block. Now, turn the hydraulic cylinder valve from the closed position to the open position and rotate the handle counterclockwise to release the adapter button to its starting position. Finally, loosen the die block, remove the line, and your 3 h GM transmission cooling flare is complete. If you have any questions, visit www.inlinetube.com and click the live chat button in the bottom right corner to speak with an expert. Don't forget to click the subscribe button below and like, comment, and share our other videos.